First Mid-Atlantic is a district comprised all of New Jersey, Eastern Pennsylvania, and Delaware. We have 129 high school robotic teams in, in, in these three states. In January, we learn what the game is, and then we have six weeks to design a robot that has to complete this game. It's a, it's a very challenging process because there's so many steps that are involved in it, such as prototyping, strategy, actual production, think, uh, doing the production, realizing it's not as good as you like, going back to prototyping, uh, producing it again. It's a, it's a lot of work. This year's event is Destination Space, sponsored by Boeing. And now this is the first week of competition. They're trying to put hatches on the, the rocket ships. And then from after the hatches, well then, then they put their cargo, uh, which are the uh, orange balls, uh, in, in, into their spaceships. High School Robotics is the most time-involved, extensive, and most rewarding event that you can do in high school. With, within FIRST, we, we always pride ourselves in, in saying that it's not all about the robot. Uh, there are various sub-teams that all of our teams have, uh, including uh, promotions, engineering, CAD, and the construction of building the robot. We grew by five teams uh, uh, this past year. It's just a fun educational experience because I'm meeting tons of people already. All these guys are helping us out. It's a great experience and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. We have uh, almost 18 judges that judge the teams on various, uh, as I said, aspects like motor controllers, entrepreneurship, uh, team spirit, gracious professionalism. It's just so enjoyable. It's, it's not only the robots, it's the people here. The people here are just amazing people and it's so much fun to be around them. Dean Kamen, who created FIRST, wanted to create a, a, a sport, and he's, as he calls it, sports of the mind, where children are given the opportunity to celebrate uh, and to cheer on a robot.